okay so this session we are going to discuss about how to configure sorry how to uh, take a backup of a router's configuration and how to restore the device with a already taken backup configuration so these are all the two things that we are going to discuss now so for which I'm going to use this basic simple topology we are having one of the routers which is R1 and the TFTP server so the TFTP server is nothing but my local machine that is my local laptop is my TFTP server and I have created this with the help of a loopback adapter so the lab name here indicates my loopback adapter if you haven't uh, know how to create a loopback adapter in a Windows machine I just give a link in the description you can have a view at it how to create it okay so let's get started so first thing I will take a console of this device okay Is there any IP address okay so first thing we need to configure an IP address to the fast ethernet 0 slash 0 interface uh, for which here the TFTP server IP and uh, router's IP should be in the same segment so for this I want to confirm the TFTP server IP address so the lab is the interface that we are using and what is the IP address of the lab the IP address of lab is 192.168.137.1 with a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0 okay so it also has to be in the same subnet okay so now I'm going to configure interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 IP address is 192.168.137. dot I'm going to use it as um, 10 255.255.255.0 okay oops I just I don't make the interface to be a sub then I will add an additional loopback interface to make sure the backup has been properly configured. Okay. IP interface okay I have uh, three interfaces that is one fast ethernet zero interface with an IP address and couple of loopback interface with an IP address so I'm going to save this configuration okay. so the next thing is I'm going to save this configuration in the TFTP server as well so for that I have using the application called as TFTP64 and my directory where I'm going to save this configuration is uh, one my test TFTP and the IP address for the TFTP server is 192.168.137.1 and this is the IP address of the lab interface is there any files there is already a one file named as PGR spot TFTP test okay we are going to create an other file and with that file we are going to take the we are going to process the information okay let's move on copy we are going to copy the startup configuration startup config and here my destination is tftp what is the remote host is 192.168.137.1 this is my remote host that is my tftp server next is name so this is test tftp so test tftp is the file name The file has been transferred so let's have a quick view over here this tftp file is there in the directory okay the next thing is just give me a couple of seconds Okay. 
this. Okay. Now we are going to take the backup of the configuration in a different device. So this configuration is being taken as a backup in the TFTP server as TFTP hyphen TFT sorry test hyphen TFTP file name. Okay. So now we are going to save this configuration or we are going to restore this configuration in a different device. Okay. So further what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this device delete this device which means this device is not in the network so due to some issues this device has been crashed or whatever be it has been not working so the now new device you have bought a fresh new device in your environment and you need to restore the configuration okay so it's you're connected You have booted up the device. You are taking a console of the device. Okay, so now The first thing is we need to assign IP address to the device. The IP address should be in the same network that is in the same subnet as a TFTP server. For that interface, fast 0 0 slash 0 192.168.137. I would like to assign a different IP. It is 250. Previously we configured as 10 in the backup configuration. Okay. So now it's no shit. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the restore the configuration from the TFTP server. Copy from where? From which source we need to move that? From TFTP. Okay. What is the TFTP IP? 137.1. I have chosen this directory as TFTP now and I am going to restore this file. So I am going to copy the file name. And to which where uh, to which place that is a running config or startup config or from here to some other place where I need to place. So now I am going to choose this as startup config. File name remains the same, everything just remains the same. Okay, so everything is done. New IP interface brief. Okay, so the one thing which we need to do is we need to reload the device. Let's have a look at show startup configuration. So the IP address is being configured. This is what we have made. A lowback IP and uh, IP address of 192.168.137.10. Okay, so now I need to reboot the device. Before rebooting, just have a view at what is the current IP address. Now reboot. Okay, okay, so now the IP address has been restored. So it's 192.168.137.10 and a couple of loopback IP address that we have configured in the previous router and we have taken the backup of this configuration. 
and now we have tried to restore with a new router the configurations are restored okay so now everything seems to be good and this is the way to take a backup of the configuration and to restore the configuration so there may be some little bit different in terms of tfp tftp server that you are using i'm just using an application to demonstrate so if you're using a real time uh, dedicated server there may be some difference in the way you need to configure it so other than that the concept remains the same in terms of router so this is the way it works if you have any questions or queries regarding this um, questions regarding this concept you can just give a comment so thanks for watching until next